Hello God Massive, I'm Fziba, welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now guys, today I'll be sharing a different type of video. I will be showing you a day in my weekend as an entrepreneur and the other things that I have to do on the weekends and how I do this so that I don't get tired in time for work on Monday morning. Now, family, I have a packed day. Today I'm going to be making soap. I'm hoping to fill some orders, some uh, pillowcase. So I'm hoping to get that done. I was also to do some masks for a couple of my customers, but that's not going to be done today because I didn't realize I did not have elastic for the mask. So let us see if I can do all of that today and basically how I do it. Um, and what my day is like on a Sunday so you get to know a bit more about me today all right so please ensure that you stay tuned and watch all the video thank you so I start my day with my daily devotion I take a bath so that I can feel very refreshed to take on the challenges of the day baby's still asleep so next I go ahead and make his milk so that I don't have to stop what I'm doing and he doesn't have to wait too long to get his milk. I'll be making soap today so I really also don't want to be handing the chemicals and food at the same time. Because I'm making coffee soap, I brew the coffee so that it can cool down in the meantime. While that cools, I load the washing machine. Next, I move on to soap making. I am just right here now measuring out my ingredients, my oils, lye, and the coffee, the coffee solution. And then I make my coffee. So this coffee soap will be one of my uploads in the coming week. So you can see how I try to incorporate what I'm doing, my videos with my regular routine. And that way I stay motivated so that I can bring you weekly videos. When I am done making soap, I immediately put the containers and stuff that I use to soak so that there is no sticking. Now here the machine has stopped, but it actually stopped while I was still making the soap. So I go ahead, I'm going to hang these out now. I first and foremost wipe off the line and then I hang my clothes to dry in the sun. Yes, I'm done hanging out the clothes and I'm going to be doing some gungo rice and peas. So I am going to just be picking my own gungo from a backyard and that's what I'm going to be doing now. So I was going to see which ones are fit. So this is the amount that I get. I don't think I want more than this for today. Let me just open one and so you can see what they look like. So guys, this is some mango I've had frozen for over a year. This is how I store my fruits. Um, when they're in season, I, I will have a lot. I just put them in the freezer. This is some frozen bananas and I have some pineapples so I'm gonna be making my smoothie Here I now just take a break to get something to eat more like brunch cause really lunch time is gone. So for my brunch I'm having some leftover soup from last night's dinner with some freshly prepared vegetables and one of my favorite smoothies. When I'm done and while my meal is still digesting I go ahead and just shell the gungo peas. I get some help with the coconut milk as you can see here. Next I just put my meal on. So because I can't drink milk any longer, I like to leave back a little of the coconut juice from the, for the rice and peas so that I can have it. So this is my portion. 
that I'm going to be drinking and then I'm just going to pour the rest in the pot. I already seasoned the chicken from overnight so yeah that's out of the way as well so i store these in the freezer um yeah again when these are a lot when these are in season we try to store as much as we can so we have a scallion right throughout the year so i'm gonna add that to my pot i'm basically just seasoning up the pot now putting my um beef mint uh little nutmeg because nutmeg make your rice and peas taste good you can actually eat your rice and peas all by itself when you put nutmeg and cinnamon in there and then i will put in my escalion and my scotch bonnet pepper and then i will wash the rice and put that in so the chicken almost ready wash my pepper drop it in While the food is being prepared, I use the time to sew the pillowcases. So it's about 5 30 at this time i shared enough for the entire family and we do sit at the table and eat our dinner here i'm just checking if everything is okay with my youtube video before i upload so i also take a break to refresh myself and so during this break i just use the time to watch a couple youtube videos so i managed to finish two pairs of the pillowcases and this is some minutes to 11 o'clock in the night next you know i definitely have to show my hair some love or some tlc so what you see me doing here is just to spray some of the leftover coffee from this morning soap making as a spritz on my hair but the thing is i was recording myself and so i was not able to show you how i actually applied the coffee oil i made some coffee oil i'm also supposed to show that uh, post that video on my channel after this, I take my bath and I do my second devotion for the day and then it's off to bed. So guys, that's pretty much my Sunday as an entrepreneur with a 9 to 5. I just try to set small accomplishable goals and I constantly remind myself that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If you have stayed till the end of this video, thank you for watching and please also remember, support my channel, subscribe like and share thank you for watching see you in the next video